Hi guys. It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. How would you define success? Well, personally, I define success as being able to achieve your goals and being able to make profit out of it if you are doing a business and this is what I would like to share with you right now because the business of bird farming fish raising or fish growing and breeding of them is now beginning to become very successful I said beginning because we are on a transition you know that we had this farm before and it flourished then it became devastated, I should say, because the government took our farm for public use. And right from there, I was really puzzled on how to go on with the business. And there is a blessing came. One person in the person of Mr. Richie Rico allowed us to buy his property on an easy installment plan and we were able to gradually develop this property of course this is a an abandoned property for how many years and we took patience about developing this and lo and behold this is now a good farm and we are trying our best to improve the facility and start again with the farming business Right now, I can say that we are on the road to our success because all the animals, the first birds that we have tried to breed are flourishing. In fact, the later part of this video, allow me to share with you how we're going to grow our baby catfish. And they are massive. There are thousands of them that we're going to release in the new environment. But for the meantime, just allow me to make an update about the bird farming. Well, a few months back, I can recall we only started with four pairs and now the population of this aviary for the cockatiels have increased to 35 heads. And this is amazing because one pair can produce as many as four to five. In the early part of our effort of doing this, we had so many challenges in the sense that this was attacked by the rats, and there was an issue about presence of the migratory birds that will disturb the aviary. All these birds became panicked that they are dropping their eggs. So these are the, you know, the normal things that would actually happen. But it did not stop me from making solutions. So I, we made a solution to this and lo and behold now, they are 35 pieces of this cockatiel. And this is very good business because I have made a research and even a computation of the expenses compared to the number of birds that we can produce you can really make profit why because these birds are you know expensive compared to the expenses that we're gonna budget for the food and uh, I'm so encouraged because each of these nest box have babies You know, these birds, if given the right attention, certainly produce babies. And as you can see here, these are the unhatched eggs that I'm gonna take out from the nest box because it will disturb the babies. As you can see right here, we have three babies. And then 
we will get all this and hatch eggs so that this will not be broken inside. And this is the kind of monitoring that we should do in order to make sure that our babies are safe and healthy. And this is the reason why we made an opening right here. We'll just lift this up in order to have easy access to the babies that are you know, growing inside. This is actually a good idea because you can just you know, clean the, the nest box. If there's a problem, you can just easily fix it. I might as well suggest that if you are going to you know, make this kind of aviary, you provide the nest box with this kind of system. So what we're doing here is actually counting some thousands. Maybe we can transfer around 2,000 catfish. And this is the result now of our experiment because I said that it was a trial and error process because I don't know if the catfish would survive in new environment, which is the mud pond at this uh, early age. And it proves to us that this catfish, the babies, will really grow very quickly if they're gonna be placed in the mud pan. So we will release this gradually. We will put this here so that it's not heavy for our staff to carry and load this to the net. Oh, oh. <laughs> Two weeks from now, we will release this bigger catfish in this uh, big area because I know that they're gonna survive against the bigger fish like the snakeheads. I'm so happy with the kind of growth that we have experienced and I would like to show you the average size of this catfish now and they are very active. There's no issues about their conditions. This is gonna be now a spot for our visitors. They can feed the catfish, they can take pictures and this is gonna be an enjoyable activity in the future. Ouch! So you look at this, this is the average size of the catfish that were thrown in there 10 days ago. And the average size is actually now 4 or 3 to 4 inches, I think, or 3 inches. And this is good because they have grown very fast because of the kind of water temperature that they are in, uh, in the mud pan. And I'm looking forward to be able to produce massively, so massively of this catfish and we are continuously breeding naturally and if you would like to know about the mechanics or the techniques and how to breed, I have so many videos about this and you can browse it all and learn from it. So I'm so inspired and we will put this back before we can release this catfish in the wild. So guys, you will see that we're improving our breeds and as soon as we're gonna get to the other end, we will make a boat shape like cottage or nipahat, I don't know, but this is the desire or the project that we're gonna undertake to be able to make a good you know, place for our visitors and we can do some fishing and all the stuffs and these are very exciting to wait for this channel. Hey guys, maglagay tayo ng punpun dito. Itaan natin doon para makakuha tayo ng bukas ng isda. Dalawang bingit. Bukas to, may huli na.
ito na guys maglagay tayo ng sabingit ng pain ah guys ilagay na natin makahuli na makahuli na guys itapon na natin yung isa ito saan na natin dito pa yung isa So we will check if we were able to catch this one. Snakeheads. I don't know what what kind of fish we have caught, but it seems that the fish have eaten our bait. And I know that we can get some fish right there. You see that? Oh, this is a catfish? <laughs> It's not the snakehead, it's the catfish. May I see? Come here, over here. Oh, come here. Ah. So we can go fishing right here. Oh, oh. Hmm? So this is what I'm talking about. If we can release thousands of catfish right here, then our visitors will enjoy fishing and they can have it cook. And of course, you will pay for it. And this is one of the income generating activity that we can engage because uh, they will eat the catfish and they will enjoy the, you know, the fishing activity. So see that we have here two catfish and these are the native catfish. This is different from the catfish that we are actually breeding. So these are all the things that we can share. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly and these videos are inspiring and very educational only here at dexter's world see you in my next video